Hello, Vice here, Hades. In the last part, I died to a rat. Was trying to make a hoarding slash work, and I don't know that boon or er, not boon hammer upgrade. Time to put in extra work for those bounties. I've never gotten good results from it. The Mozilla crash reporter came up. I'm worried that, um, in closing Firefox... Yeah, maybe it was still consuming resources, and I'm concerned about the, like, audio maybe being desynced. But I don't really have a way to, like, go back and start the episode over cleanly. <laughs> uh, so we'll just go. Uh, let's see, I'm using the shield. The cast is probably fine. Zeus cast is considered really good. At least in cast-focused builds. Oh, the coin purse leveled up. Next run, we'll have an extra 25 coins. The Zeus cast really isn't getting to show itself off very well in all these single enemy situations. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't gifted Poseidon yet. Poseidon. <sighs> Knock away on attack is silly on the shield. It already knocks things away. I think that might still... Uh, I mean, the call's pretty good, but I've already had it. Out of these two, I think I prefer getting an attack boon. Prophecy foretold. I keep noticing that, like, helmet icon on the sides of enemy health bars. I think that's from the mirror. That thing I turned on where enemies get, like, random effects. I think it only picks, like, a few of them for the run and then applies it to, like, a bunch of things. I'm not sure how it works, though. I just feel like on an individual run, I tend to see the same ones a lot. Ow. Dionysus. I'm not familiar with the story, but I'm sure it exists. 
Let's see. Let's get the dash. Although I do tend to like that more on the, like, two explicit ranged weapons. Because you tend to dash away with those, so a dash effect that happens at the start of the dash is cooler. Oh, <laughs> those go flying with an actual knockback boon. Yeah, the one thing I don't really like too much about Zeus cast is if you're trying to get boiling blood on something specific, it uh is pretty hard unless that's the only enemy left. Hmm, I'm not sure what that little like purple aura is doing. A pomegranate anytime soon. Oh, must be the fountain chamber I commissioned back at home. Oh, that's good. A place of calm and respite, whilst perhaps unimaginable in the underworld, occasionally is to be found, in fact. And not a moment too soon. All right, more Zeus versus some Ares. Let's uh, stack the Zeus. Try to get like a tier 2 boon, like Jolted. I should be hitting the one with the casts in it, if I'm gonna be just standing and attacking. Letting the music finish doing its thing. Duo boon. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned Jolted. It is really good. Status cursed. Victim's next attack self inflicts lightning damage that harms nearby foes, and it's 80 of it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Sea Storm. Every time I basic attack something, <laughs> also deal 40 lightning damage. What a team. <laughs> what a team. And even my dash attack knocks because I have Poseidon on it. I wonder if that duo boon works if you um, qualified for it with something other than the attack and use the standing shield attack to still get knock away. Oh, he warped. All right, finally some health. Chamber 10. Uh, 
river Styx flows infamously through the underworld, offering the boatman Charon expeditious travel from the realm of mortals to the lowest depths, where many of their sheaths reside forever. Too bad I can't just take the ferry to the surface. Too bad. Anyway, I'm gonna buy out the shop. Uh, against Zagreus' advice, advice, apparently. Huh. Taking this before the first boss? Seems good. Just makes stuff worth more in the future. The ocean's fury. And it was faded. <laughs> you know. Lightning doing a lot of work here. Adding just that little extra AoE and that little extra damage. How many skulls are here, though? Oh, that many. <laughs> uh, let's see, the duo boon will never show up for a level up. Um, but I guess my attack is my main DPS. Partially thanks to the duo boon. So leveling the attack seems good. But yeah, duos, legendaries, and Hermes boons never get leveled up, as well as some other things, I think. That sounds right to me, at least. And where exactly do you think you're going, Zagreus? To the surface. Oh, right, she attacks sometimes. <laughs> I think for where we are in the game, we're really strong, though. I'm allowed to play a little not well. Just not a lot not well. Oh, nice job with that trap, Meg. Really showed it who was boss. You weren't afraid of it at all. It's that attack. Got her. I mean, I think my strongest option is still the old spiked collar. What else would I even equip? I guess I could try to force one of the gods to show up again. I'm my special and my call are empty. Also, just getting another Zeus boon might be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna force Zeus to show back up again with the Thunder Signet, and then equip the Old Spike Collar, I'm thinking. <laughs> Could sell this for 400. I don't think that's worth it. Sure. Take some gems. Have I ever bought the Stygian Shard? Um, passive Traps, I believe, includes the Lava. I think that the prophecy for the wells of Styx 
won't actually show up until I get an upgrade that actually unlocks one of the things in the shop. Um, stubborn Defiance, for those who are aware of what that is. Where'd my casts go? Yeah, I think the magma is dealing like way more damage than usual because of that thing I bought. <laughs> they, they were just burning. All right, a bit more darkness, courtesy of Poseidon. Get me out of here. Oh, <laughs> that was an enemy. He's not actually getting knocked back, so he's not actually taking the lightning strikes. Super impressed by this selection. I could see trying to make Minotaur Rush work. Although I'm probably more likely to block an enemy. Yeah, well, I'll go Ferocious Guard. Prioritizing keys for now over gems. We could even get gems from a uh, trove. I think to get keys, I have to pick it as a room reward. Ow. Banishing him to the Shadow Realm with my shield. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting out of that magma. Uh, I didn't have a cast. My casts may also be in the Shadow Realm. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Alright. I'll take the Zeus. I did make it happen by equipping the thing. Hey, what if I blocked attacks to get a damage bonus? Ow. Unfortunately, these enemies fly, so uh, sending them way out over the lava is a disadvantage. Just means I can't hit him anymore. Ow. Oh, you're up against the wall. Ow. Yeah, needing to repeatedly chase down ranged foes because you knocked them away. Or just not being able to do anything about them at all. It's sure a situation. <laughs> Alright, Jolted did not come back. Right, I didn't take the airy spoon earlier. I'll take the vengeance anyway, I guess. The act of sorcery often ends in an untimely death and an eternity and tartarus for careless souls. Though some are able to perfect the trade and take up permanent residence elsewhere. I'm sure the witch 
this circle will reconvene soon enough. Oh, a fountain! Oh, good. This has to be the chamber renovation I put in. I nice cool. kind of needed that. Been playing a little badly. Fountain was just in time for me to throw away all the hit points to, uh, chaos. guy is, like, not the same as all the others. Where'd he go? Oh, I guess he died on the magma? Cast, dash, vengeance. Take the extra dash power. Stuff getting 50% better seems good. Alright, what are my doors? Pomegranate, shop. Yeah, let's go chaos. Chaos acknowledging that we beat the game once. Alright, trap damage to get money, move speed penalty to get backstab damage, give up money to get meta rewards increased. Um, this would be more tempting if I was playing a heat level I'd already gotten partway through, and so the bosses were gonna give darkness. I think I'll try this, and hope I don't get super murdered by magma. Another level up on the dash. Since it gets multiple pulses, and the damage over time ticks for a bit, it actually does a lot of damage. I guess he gets backed... Backed knock, yes, just what I meant to say. Uh, just enough for the boon to work. Or bosses have some different knockback claws. Very convenient for me, at least. Anyway, I guess since we're at the, like, end of... Yeah, actually, um... <laughs> the reason I was worried about magma damage, even though I knew the boss was coming up, is I forgot it was gonna be the normal layout. Uh, because I'm used to, uh, the Pact of Punishment changing most of the bosses in the game. Oh wait, that was the last- <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, the main head's not invincible. Imagine there being a part of this fight where the main head isn't invincible.
Dashed because I thought those waves were actually coming for me. Oh, come on, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad the main head doesn't do its flurry of projectiles while their secondary head's alive. That seems reserved for when you're focused on it. Nope. You weren't done. Yeah, I think it's better to keep moving than to try to hide from that one. Yeah, on an earlier version of the game... Oh, money! Uh, there were actually like, pots in this arena that had a little healing in them. But they were taken out at some point. I think about the same time that they toned down the fight, though. So, like, fair? All right. <laughs> yeah, that is a little weird, isn't it? We did order it from the contractor, though. Anyway, even if I keep the Thunder Signet on, it won't force Zeus to, pe to appear again. Um, let's see, Dionysus... What are his duos? Is exclusive access on Dionysus? With Poseidon? I don't qualify for the Dionysus Zeus one because it takes Dionysus's cast. Uh, let's let's just go to the old spiked collar actually. Purging Ocean's Bounty is, like, almost reasonable, unless I go through one single coin reward room, in which case I profit more like that. <laughs> Ooh, Hammer versus Hermes. I think I prefer hammers. I'm not sure what's correct, though. Hey, did you know that the shield has a special that's a ranged attack? Because I may have forgotten at some point. Like, uh, that witch fight earlier. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have a boon on it. I'm not sure how much it would have really helped in the witch fight. But it is also true that I didn't even think about it. I'm like, yeah, my build is an attack-based build, so we attack. What else would I do? But against the chariot, I was like, wait a minute. I could finish it off without it blowing up on me. <laughs> Imagine that. Alright, didn't I take a- no, I didn't take a bull rush benefit, but I did take a blocking things benefit. So this has kind of synergy with that, because whenever you're done blocking, you always bull rush. Doing a bunch more damage to armor, armor does seem good. I don't even have a special boon yet. I wonder if I'll just not get one. Hmm. I wonder if pulverizing blow wouldn't actually prevent the... Poseidon knockback. If it did prevent the knockback and Sea Storm stopped working, that would be terrible. I'm just gonna take Breaching Rush. It's faded. Maybe I should have done the science, but at the same time, like, faded list of minor prophecies, right? Figured, uh, while I was waiting for enemies to spawn, I could charge up my bull rush, and then if it was armored, bop him real good, and that's exactly what happened. 
Oh yeah, I had a chaos spoon. It was trap damage, right. If I had gotten hit by one of those giant arrows, I would have been super murdered. Hermes. I uh, was hoping for attack speed. I don't see it. I guess, let's see, whenever you dash, become sturdy, which is 30% damage reduction and super armor. That's the fighting game term. Uh, your, your actions cannot be interrupted by taking damage, is what the game actually says. And move 100% faster for a half a second. Or just 10% dodge chance all the time. Now, 30% is more than 10%. I feel like I dash a lot. Hyper sprint is probably really good. That's good speed, all right. Hmm. Hmm. I think most of the boons I have aren't subject to level ups. <laughs> uh, it's just like these three, I think. Um, I think I just need health at this point. I think we kind of have the damage build. Right, I should be charging up the bull rush. Ow. Just dashing through to get the poison on them. Yeah, I figured that would be enough. Can they not be backstabbed? Or not backstabbed, um, knocked back while they're reforming? Hmm, Trial of the Gods versus Ares. Ares special on the shield would be funny again. Ares call would be nice. I'm gonna take the trial though. Now trials can't give duos. Special versus deal more damage while three or more foes are hangover afflicted versus peer pressure. Hangover afflicted foes inflicted on other foes near them every four seconds. I think all of these are unexciting. <laughs> I'll take peer pressure, I guess. It's the same hangover damage that my dash currently deals. All right. So yeah, there's just the like wave that like runs around the room. It tries to kill me. No big deal. It got me. <laughs> oh, sometimes it warps. Okay. I thought I was losing track of it a lot. <laughs> that movement speed helped me get out of the trap after I used all my dashes to get into it. <laughs> That's where my casts ended up, in that guy. I 
Having the cast still at level 1 without Jolted is making it a little weak by this point in the game. Alright. Slamming foes into barriers creates a watery blast in the area. This will deal a ton of damage in the, like, satyr tunnels. Won't be very useful against the end boss. Maybe I should just take the call? But also, faded choices are cool. Hmm. Aphrodite versus coins. I'm not really looking for anything from Aphrodite right now. Alright, poisoned that chariot. Uh, never mind how much sense that does or doesn't make. Trying to be cautious about that trap. But also, I want to, like, get the poison in sometimes. I keep missing with it, though. Estimating the dash distance incorrectly. So yeah, that was a demo of the fact that my ranged attack doesn't actually deal that much damage. That, uh, whatever I got from Poseidon recently, though, is doing some work already. That extra 100 damage for a slam? When I just, like, yeet foes into oblivion when I hit them? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm willing to give up that much health right now. What, do I get? what did I get? A Hydrolite. I don't think I'm strong enough for this event. Uh, this would cause Charon to fight me. It will eventually get demonstrated, but I, I don't think now is the time. While we're still, like, working on the plot. Yeah, I'll buy some gems. Get another key. Oh boy, that's that's a lot of chariots. Or flame wheels, rather. I guess only the big ones are called chariots. Collecting my casts. I guess if I, like, knock them away, they're not gonna explode on me. Oh, uh, that line between those elite enemies would harm me, I believe. Okay, dealt with one of them. Now it's just a useless thing they rolled. Oh, fish! Not sure why I pulled that up. Poseidon versus coins in chamber 34 when I already have 312 coins. Ooh, a well. Oh. 
Almost got poked by the trap. And if only I could knock back butterfly balls. Also known as soul catchers if I actually use their proper name. But does anybody? I don't think Zagreus even calls them butter er, uh soul catchers. Although he acknowledges their purpose sometimes. He's got a quote after like the mid boss form of like, I'll hold on to my soul, thanks. Hmm. So, special, the rupture, status curse, or you deal more damage when slamming foes into barriers. Uh, I mean, rupture would help more with boss fights than Typhoon's Fury will. But this is just hilarious. Alright, yeah, let's buy some health. The Nemesis Crest could help me eliminate Theseus. It will be still active in the boss room. Uh, bosses aren't armored for some reason. This one. Free Hermes versus a shop. A little late for side hustle, I think. I'll take greatest reflex. Just looking around for any pots that might have money. the first time I'm getting here without having fought Asterius as the mid-boss. Um, so he'll actually have full health this time. Shouldn't I be the champion of Elysium now that I've beaten you? Isn't there someone else around to challenge me, say Heracles? Someone less chatty? Ah, <laughs> very clever fiend. Invoking Heracles' name in an attempt to drive me to a jealous rage. It shall not work. But you shall dearly pay, nevertheless. No holding back. Ow. Oh, really? <laughs> Thought I was behind the thing. Getting lots of backstabs. That thing I bought doing some work. Ow. Alright, the Minotaur's like halfway down. Fight does get a lot simpler once he's dealt with. Try to keep boiling blood on. Try to be mindful of Theseus's position and keep pillars in the way. I guess if I don't see the targeting thing on myself, like those archers use, he's not prepping the spear. Ow. pretty low. 
Minotaur's down, but I might still use a death to fight in this fight. What is the arc on it? Oh, I got caught. I know, his shield is a little... Whoop. What even was that cast? What was I hoping to accomplish by launching something over there? Demeter got me, I think. Or was that his spear? He was throwing his spear at the time. Ow. Okay, got him. Buy my death defiance back. Alright, the tunnels against anything the subject to knock back should be pretty easy. Gonna be hoping for a kinda late satyr sack to help power up more. Maybe this way. Definitely not this way, Zagreus. Don't you know game mechanics? Ow! <laughs> it was like awkwardly in the terrain or something. I couldn't hit it very well. Yeah, if I'm hoping for a late satyr sack, I gotta play these rooms pretty well, because my health has to last a while. Did I see a 543 in there? Does... Breaking Wave synergize with... Typhoon's Fury? No, how would... That wouldn't even make... That would make 300. Huh. Something I can use. Um I don't know if I am gonna get a boon, and if I do, what rarity I'm hoping for. I mean, obviously, I'd hope for as much rarity as possible, but... Ow. There goes, like, all the health I bought. Oh, come on. <laughs> Trap kill! Just trying to carefully attack him without running into the poison. That was a bit of lag there. But, like, the fight was over, so who cares? Fish! Uh, do 
Should I just buy some max health now? I think so. Alright. This should be worth some good amount of money. Yeah, we, we knock things into walls. It does damage. <laughs> oh. Found it fast this time. Found it fast this time. 390 gold from that. Artemis Boon versus three level ups, since this palm is worth two. What Artemis Boon would I want? The call? I'd want the call. Let's go for it. Yeah. Or maybe pressure points would be better than... No, that, that can't be right, right? 3% crit versus mega damage arrow burst. Cerberus vanquished. You did this. Going well so far. <laughs> I've got a comfy amount of health. Would have liked one more death defied, but also that was not possible. <laughs> uh, I just didn't have the darkness to buy it. Oh, those can't be knocked back, so I can't actually kill them very fast. Did I get a wall slam in there? Was he actually close enough that despite his gigantic knockback resistance, it happened? I guess this is one part of the fight where all my wall slam stuff actually helps. Big old chunk of damage. Get that boiling blood on him. Oh, he got it on us. Invincibility crystals? That like does nothing. <laughs> They're dead. Nope, I missed. Ah. 
The crystals ate the damage. Whoa. Don't like using the first death to fight on phase one. I should have tried to get behind him. I could have done a lot of damage. I never got a single level up on my cast. Just one would have actually been pretty nice here. sure what he was doing for a moment, honestly. Uh-oh. Oh, that trap almost just got me mega lasered. Oh, man, this is going to be really close, isn't it? had stayed up next to him, there actually is a safe spot. But I'm not used to playing with that. Basically. Oh. I don't think I'm going to charge the Greater Call again before the end of the fight. So that's why I just threw one off. Oh! Got him! faster than the previous Shield of Chaos win. Blood. I didn't hear the ding, but I'm still checking for a fish because fish in this room are super valuable. Doesn't make a slow walk this time. never walked up here before.
All right, that was a good look around. I begged the fates that you'd return to me. Perhaps I ought to be more careful how I speak of them. Tell me, how was your journey? What happened? Father didn't make it any easier for me. Nor would he tell me why he never sent for you after you left. So, I don't know what's going on still, but I wanted to see you again. I wanted to see you too. Come, speak quickly with me, that our time together here may be as full as possible, all right? I just... I need to know what happened between you and Father. Why are you here and not with us? I couldn't live with myself anymore down there. After I left Olympus, a long story in itself, I came to be with your father in the underworld. It was a shock, to say the least. The others in your father's house were welcoming enough, but... I never felt that I belonged. I know the feeling, I think. But you stayed. Long enough to have me. Those whom I've spoken to about you, it's as you said. They have fond memories of you. And then you even had a child. Did father... Did he mistreat you? No, no. Your father could be very difficult. Though he was gentle with me. Soon enough, we got on fine. Better than fine at times, but... When I was with child, why, I struggled terribly. Because... A child born of surface dwellers could not live down there. Could not live down there according to whom, exactly? The fates? According to them, yes. According to your father and to Nyx. Even having heard, I took my chances anyway. But when you emerged stillborn, it was too much. I fled. I fled and came to reside here. Above the notice of the underworld. Beneath the notice of Olympus. Uh, but why would father lie to you? If he never wanted you, or never wanted me, surely he had the means. I don't know. I'm wondering the same. But, oh, look at you, Zagreus. We're running out of time. It's happening again. Stay with me, please. I'm trying, but I can't stay that much longer, I don't think. Oh, my dear son. Then please, ask Hades what you asked of me. Why he would lie. Tell him I must know, the same as you. And you farewell. Until we meet again. Until we... Kinda used to the more casual reappearance quotes, like, I'm counting that as a win. <laughs> oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, Good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. <laughs> Achilles on break, I guess. Eh, yeah, there's not gonna be anyone over there yet. I should check in with the house contractor. Should I? I found a boy, my mother. Persephone, you remember her, don't you? She was pleased to hear about you, but I couldn't stay for long, and I have to find her again. So, guess I'll see you at the temple then. The ghoulish features of the much-reviled Hound of Hell all soften instantly upon the mention of a certain name. Briefly, then, the monster is at peace. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell of it, right, boy? Serves me if Bane's concerned for you. 
quite a mess you've created, I must say, Father. After being of no help whatsoever when it comes to disentangling it all. Though this isn't the place to talk, right? No, it most certainly is not. Though I take it it shall not be long before another of our private meetings then. Count on that. All right. I don't notice anything new. Although, of course, there's stuff we can newly afford. I grant you funding and autonomy to do this job upon your earliest convenience, contractor. I give the orders around here. So yeah, urns of wealth are slightly upgraded. Let's also get the Elysium Fountain Chamber. I think that's more valuable immediately than the Codex Index. Your asking price, good contractor. Well worth the fruits of your hard work, I'm sure. Hmm. A prophecy foretold. Ah. This'll be nice. Each infernal trove contains more. Also, I can pay some diamonds to give the house contractor a break and new jobs. Here you go. You've done so much for us, house contractor. Why don't you do a little something for yourself? If that mess of a table enhances the contractor's productivity, then so be it. Hmm. A few diamond-based upgrades that all enhance... Or, well, this one enhanced the, the darkness bonus that appears on weapons. And then we have a series of four that all enhance the meta items to also give an in-run benefit. So gemstones become worth 20 coins. Nectar becomes worth a palm slice. Chthonic keys give faded authority. <laughs> and darkness will give max health once I buy all these upgrades. Only five max health, but uh, better than nothing. Let's see, Vanquisher's Keep. Awards gems after vanquishing any boss. And gateways to Erebus. Chambers may contain an Erebus gate. Uh, which is an area where you need a certain amount of heat from the Pact of Punishment. And you need to beat a room without taking any hits. But usually you get some sort of high tier reward. Like a double palm. A double centaur heart. Um, I think boons with better rarities or something. Where is our court musician? No time to rest. What are you doing here? I heard you finally made it out. What? Did you break out of here only to die in some pathetic way on the surface? That line almost made more sense in early access. <laughs> Where instead of the ending, there were just a, a variety of pathetic deaths. Long story, but yeah. Boils down to what you said, more or less. So you're going back out there again? It's your business, not mine. For your sake, I hope it's worth it. It is. All right, let's turn in my fish. Something smells good. Freshly caught, just for you, chef. Gems and a nectar. The ancient casks of wine hidden within the recesses of the house of Lord Hades. Few have tasted the intoxicating vintage they contain, and fewer still are permitted to anywhere near their vicinity. Still waiting for the festive occasion when we'll open one of these. <laughs> Let's see here. Hmm, I could trade in my nectar for some darkness, but... I don't think that's worth it right now. Oh, I'm at the point... I... The surface. Instead of unlocking... A weapon, I could actually unlock the next part of the mirror, couldn't I? Also, have I... I have not gifted Nyx. Uh... You've done so much for me, I thought you might like this. You know your father does not like it when nectar is doled out on the premises, dear child. However, I am not he, and I wished regardless to provide you a token of my affection. I'm very grateful, Nyx. Nyx is black shawl. Nyx, why did you never send word to mother that I lived? You knew at least approximately where she went. You and father, you could have spared us so much pain. I swore a binding oath never to say, child. I have already 
circumvented it as much as can be done. I know that we, that I acted with only her well-being in mind, as well as yours. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna check whether the darkness bonus is currently on the spear. It's on the sword again. Well, I don't have a sword win yet. Stitches hungers. So yeah. Take me for you. Let's get that next segment to the mirror. Reveal two new talents hidden inside the mirror of night, or hidden inside you. How else can I improve? Deep pockets. Start each escape attempt from the House of Hades with some wealth. Ten coins per rank. Up to a maximum of 100 coins. And raise your life total. Five max life per rank. So yeah, let's just uh, get some of that. There! It's like we're wearing Cerberus's collar all the time, except it can stack with Cerberus's collar. Can't afford that. Uh, the next part of the mirror will take a while, but... I mean, this was a great power spike here. Maybe we'll actually win the next sword run. We're, uh, I think 0-2 <laughs> with it so far? Uh, next section of the mirror will be a while, but it's got at least one cool thing in it. I'm trying to remember what the next two are. I believe privileged status is coming up, which is uh, when an enemy has two status curses, takes like a bunch of extra damage. Something's added to the fated list. Alright, yeah. God of the heavens, god of the sea. A simple job. The son of the god of the dead shall someday employ the house contractor to perform various renovation services. So if I do 16 more renovations, I get four diamonds. That might actually be a reason to do some of the cheaper, just cosmetic things. Spend a few gems, get my diamonds a little early. I don't think I can do it now, but well, let's just see what we can buy. Oh yeah, because I turned in the fish, I could now afford the index. Yeah, I definitely can't afford 16 things right now, but let's get the scrying pool. Here's the fee. Should make a nice enough addition to my chambers. What was that woman supposed to be? It's a scrying pool. Oh, and that added the music stand here. For one diamond, authorized playback of music pieces from the vault. Which I'll also need to unlock with more diamonds on this tab. Oop, you can loop around. That'll be all for now. Now let's see, I should change my keeps- oh yeah, install the scrying pool. Cause for some reason, they make you walk in and hit renovate. Looks good, I guess. A beautifully decorated, subtly enchanted bowl containing traces of the hapless prince's past attempts to flee the underworld now accents a particularly cluttered corner of his room. Always wanted my own scrying pool. Just need to keep at it. Seven attempts. 2,500, I think it said 39 if I was slain. Oh, Skelly has something to say. Hey, pal, watch where you throw those bloodstone things of yours. You drop them, you go pick them up, you understand? But if somebody gives you grief, you got my permission to chuck one right in his eye. I'll just aim generally from the midsection, since the eyes are a lot harder to hit in my experience. <laughs> Alright, so our new keepsake has the effect deal 10% damage striking undamaged foes, er, additional damage. Also, when striking foes from behind, um, 
Eventually, the Mirror of Night is actually going to have another variation for every single row. And this actually does both versions of the first row. Undamaged foes take extra damage and backstab damage. So that's kind of interesting. Um, this was actually dramatically reworked in early access. It used to be whenever you gain darkness, you heal current HP. Uh, I think it was like up to 40% of the value of the darkness or something. Maybe it was higher than that, maybe like 60%. Uh, that's actually also now part of the other side of the mirror. Instead of healing on every jo door transition, heal upon getting darkness. So it's funny uh, that Nyx's keepsake, both the past version and the current version, are entirely contained within the current version of the Mirror of Night. Very appropriate. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we're continuing to start runs with the Chthonic Coin Purse. With our new mirror upgrades, actually going to have some decent starting cash next time. Because what, I got like 60 coins? Yeah, 60 coins. Anyway, that'll be it for this part. See ya!